Loneliness is a huge problem in England and it's August and a lot of families going away but a lot of older people have to stay behind. So what do we as a, do as a church? Well, we transform the church. We invite them here and we give them a holiday. I'm going to show you what we do right here, right now. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship. Helping you go deeper in your faith in Christ and living it out in the world today. So welcome to St. Mary's, the church I serve in. And actually it's not St. Mary's today, it's the cruise liner St. Mary. Um, it, it's been transformed. We've got loads of stuff going on. It's a two-day uh, event where we've transformed the church into uh, the ship. So you've got uh, the wheel up here and banners and liners and um, loads of little detail that's gone into it and we are invited people in to come and spend time with us and we're entertaining there's loads of different things going on we're going to go around and have a look my daughter is here at the moment playing uh, with the dominoes and the um, golf uh, we've got manicures going on we've got painting we've got chocolate making and there's less stuff so let's go have a look There's this man who is the captain of his ship and he's cruising along the Bristol Channel in the evening and suddenly he finds looking ahead that dangerously close is a light flashing and he's thinking whoa if there's a boat coming the other way um, and full of himself and used to getting his way so he sends a message to say Excuse me, but can you change your direction 15 degrees? Well, back comes a message to him saying, you are going to be the one who needs to change 15 degrees. Well, he's not used to not getting his own way, so he sends a second message saying, I'll have you know that I'm an admiral. So, you change 15 degrees. Well, back comes a message again, this time saying, I'm an able seaman, and you're going to need to change 15 degrees. So he's now getting pretty furious. And he's actually on board a battleship. So he sends a message saying, I am an admiral, I'm on a battleship, you change course 15 degrees. Back comes the message, and do you know what it said? It said, I am a lighthouse. <laughs> you will need to change 15 degrees. So I just stood in the middle of the church and going to try and point out some of the things got going on so much. Um, behind me over there you've got flower making and paper flower making. Got an area here for just reading the paper and kind of general mustering and chatting. Over here behind me you've got chocolate uh, making and chocolate kind of painting. Um, the coupage, I'm really sure what that is. Uh, making boxes, you've got a, an art group that's coming over here to help out. You've got sewing over the back in the corner. You've got a, a real big game of Scrabble happening behind, um, making a um, puzzle, uh, tile making or paint painting at the back there, um, another game of something else, and even um, hand massage just up there. Um, loads of stuff going on, and what they do is they move round all through. Sorry, my daughter wants to come up. up into it uh, and makes it all say hello um, so they can all look, look. so people go round throughout the day and do different things and then they got a band coming in later um, yesterday I did Mr and Mrs with my wife and my boss did it with his wife um, what else they got mini golf at the top up there they got mini golf uh, up in the chancel and dominoes and quoits and Jenga so there's uh, you know the amount of work that goes into this is pretty amazing actually um, to organize and get all this and to change the church round for two days so, look, there's a boys toys section of making uh, model airplanes and things like that um, but it's a level of detail as well to really kind of bring it alive for people this started out as the first event last year to do one 
and then uh, it was so successful that we did a winter one in February. Now we've got one for the summer. We're already planning one for the, the winter, and it's not um, actually. This isn't clergy led. This is led by a uh, woman led named Jill, who's got a heart for this and a heart mission for older people. So we'll try to catch her later. But um, they have loads of stuff going on throughout the day. We provide meals for them at lunchtime and a cream tea in the afternoon with cakes and uh, obviously cream teas. Um, so it's a kind of whole 10 till 4 experience and these guys love it, really appreciate it. Even just sitting there reading the paper is a nice thing rather than doing it at home. So I've just come into the vestry because um, I saw, saw Jill cutting some cakes. I wanted to work with her, but she's already gone. But these are the um, cakes that are going to be for lunch, not even <laughs> for this afternoon. They get kind of really well fed here. Um, this is all part of it, kind of spoiling them as well as uh, giving them stuff to do and entertaining them and getting these bands in and things like that and having these quizzes. Um, kind of really adding something, uh, adding humanity back in actually, adding that kind of human touch rather than watching stuff on the TV and or whatever they might do, but adding just being around people. So the camera's doing around away from me because I want to show you some things. Here's uh, one of the most popular parts and that's the um, chocolate making where these guys get some chocolate and then they put the white bits on top. Um, really popular. Another one is just up there with Mary on the right hand side and that is the uh, hand massage which she does all day and I think this might be a cue here for it um, Boys Toys you now got Ken who was making this yesterday who's uh, still carrying on um, serious game of Scrabble going on serious bits of making a ship see the detail um, paint painting um, I forgot what that's called, but I know that I need to buy that for my holiday. Um, here it is tile painting and making up there. And then you've got um, art club and painting some amazing things there. Um, and then you've got sewing and stuff there. So all these things going on. And then over here you've got um, all the food that's going to come up. Um, later so you've got loads of hot pots going on there and um, big big table set out for lunch time over here falling down you've got the um, flower arranging and uh, these are paper flowers as well um, and then finishing off round in the bits where people just sit at the top there you've got um, Decoits, Jenga, golf, uh, dominoes and things like that. Um, and then on these pillars you see the little detail of kind of like what portholes uh, with little views and things like that or bits of ships and flag back there and flags all the way around. The church and even, you see it there? Seagulls uh, flying around. Um, it is pretty amazing. Um, and you'll see a boat there. Let me take you outside and show you this you get these master stations which are the fire exits beautiful little things here uh, this is our porchway with flags and life ring here we go just let the light adjust um, a red carpet for when they come a handmade um, life boat ring um, and this is what they people see as they walk in it's very cool um, loads of flags Welcome aboard, uh, and a really lovely atmosphere, just music playing in the background, and loads of stuff going on. So I hope you enjoyed it here. Uh, I'm going to go home and make some lunch for me and my daughter. Um, she's actually been doing some making as well. Um, you know, churches are already active in the community. This is such an amazing thing that we're doing for these older people um, to get out to share fellowship, to do some fun little things. Uh, it breaks up uh, a long summer, uh, maybe when the families go away. Uh, hopefully some of them will get a chance to go away with the families, not all do. Um, and this is why we do it, to reach out and to build that relationship. And it's not just about these two days or two days uh, in February. It's about having the relationship with them throughout the year and this is where we can get to know them and, and when we see them on a high street we get to speak to them and uh, develop that relationship um, 
which is really important, uh, especially in a time where a lot of people are very, very lonely. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. Bye.